Hello and welcome to Club 7, Episode 7 of Dolby with Ashman. We're back for the second leg against Valencia. But just before we get into that, we've got our biggest title challenges in Borussia Dortmund. I'll let you know what I've been up to since we've gone. Just before we get into the episode, if you could like or subscribe, as usual, it would be greatly appreciated. And pop in the comments how you think we're going to get on. We've got our second leg of our quarterfinal now, and we're playing Dortmund. We do still have a three-point advantage in the league over Dortmund. And then, what's that, eight points against Schalke and Munich. So, we're doing pretty well, to be fair. We've even got a game in hand against Munich, so... If we can get a win against Dortmund here, that'll be massive. Likewise, uh, our first leg against Valencia was 3-1. Uh, Curlwine coming in with a brace. Reiner with the uh, third third goal, the other one. I don't know why that I struggled so much there. And then this fella getting their goal. Romolo, you're very little. Oh, I don't even know how to say that. Don't worry about it. We'll move on. The other fixtures since we've been gone. Um, it was that final Porto game and Freiburg. So we played Hertha, we beat them 3-1. We lost to Leipzig, which is a bit of a frustrating game. I think we were all over them, if I remember rightly. Yeah, she's a pretty dead game. But they got the goal, and we didn't, so. We go in with Ribes in goal. Aranya still out at right back, with Deco and Peñalosa in the middle. We've got Trindard on the left. Reina just in front of him, with Barragan out on the right. And then Al Kadri, we've got as like a deep line defensive role, and then Buzabia next to him. Will these two do better in this way? Not really. Uh, and then, as usual, we've got Curlewine and Luis up top. That's mainly because we still don't have Kiwahara back. He's still got about two weeks, and Mirabli's got about three. So if I remember rightly, he was. Oh no, he's coming back quicker. So they should both be back in Fortnite, which is good. We have our form that we're aware of, just showed you. Four wins and a loss. And then Dortmund are lining up with a 4 4 1 1 with a defence. A defence? That's not the word. I sort of did. Assumed it was defence. It's not a draw. We have gone balanced on this one. I don't know if it's the right call. I think it probably would be because they're quite clearly one of the stronger teams in the league. But we'll, um, we'll see. We'll see what it does for us. We need to move this about, of course. Because why wouldn't we? What have we got? 15 on the clock and nothing's happened. I'm kind of happy for a draw. I much prefer a win, obviously. But I think the most important thing is just not to lose. I'm pretty sure my guy out wide was offside then. Brilliant ball back in and brilliant header, but doesn't mean for anything, so. So be it. So be it. Do you know what I am going to do there? I am going to shuffle you across because you don't feel very central. I've gone the wrong way. There we go. I feel like I was over here somewhere. What I say? That was from Wreath. From Ribes against Wreath. Wraith? I don't know. Patrick Wraith. Is he Scottish? Croatian. Of course he is. Of course he is. Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll demand some more. So Schalke did pick up a win earlier today as well. So they've um, closed them down a little bit as well. So they're back to just six points as a verse to the eight. But that is also dependent on us actually picking up the draw. So, I don't know. I don't know. Game's been quite quiet and I'm, I think I'm happy with that. We haven't really got any game changes that we can bring up off the bench as well. Which isn't ideal. But hopefully we can get... It. Oh. Oh, of course it's a pen. Cochleotis. Oh, you've had a stinker there, lad. Ah, uh, yeah. I definitely saw a penalty there. Who's taking it? Can you move out of the way? I want to see who's taking it. Curl away. He did score. I was having I wasn't I wasn't too confident. I, I don't know. I just didn't think it was going to be scored. And then you know what? He went and scored it. So it's all good. It's all good. He started scoring at the second half of the season since I've actively been trying to get rid of him. So do you know what? I'm cool with that. And it'll up his price as well. <laughs> uh we'll praise him. They've probably had no, do you know what? Shots are bad, even. We've had a few more, but not on target. 
Uh, they've had a few more since I mentioned that. But XG is definitely in our favour, which is good. Uh, we got any subs because we've got a lot of tired legs knocking about. Uh, I'll cadre one of them. What can we do? I think Bonguri wants to be a defensive player. Can I physically drop you back to there? I didn't do anything for you, so you can just you can just stay there doing your job, whatever it may be. He wants to be a Carolero, a deep line plan defend. Good. That's what we can roll with. Uh Trindard isn't isn't here, so that's good. We get Goyer on for him. He wasn't tired though, that's the issue. It's tiredness I'm trying to get rid of. We'll undo it. Probably gonna regret that choice, aren't we? Oh, there's no one. Have we got <laughs> I don't know why I did that. So right, Goyer can come up on the left mid. That'll do, that'll do. Will it do? Oh, I'm debating. Doubting myself there. I've got a few shuffles I can do again if we need another sub. Um, we'll praise them again. So they're doing well. Oh, some people are upset that I've praised them, that they're one nil up against the main title rivals. That makes all sorts of sense. Oh, it kind of bumbled its way through, but Carter uh, got some sturdy hands on it. We'll drop back to just cautious. I'm probably going to regret doing so. But I think I want to just hold on to this win more than I want to try and get anything out of the game. Stay on feet, please. Thank you. We'll stop doing that. We'll slow the pace down. We'll smash it over to the forwards. What we got? Three on the board. Denyard's with the free kick. What happened there? It hit both pieces of woodwork and then came out, but was he offside or something? He is offside, okay. It was almost like the reactions was ah beautiful. The reactions was that it went in. And then all the players just walked off, but it didn't cross the line. I didn't know what was going on. But one nil to us. That's the main thing. Between the games, Curl Wine's little agent popped up to me. And he says, Lad, I think my boy deserves a new contract. So I'm like, see, do you want to offer him a contract? Because then that might deter some people that are interested in him. But also what they were asking for wasn't a lot. It was going from like 145 to between 160 and 200. So I was there, oh, um and an R in what to do. So I clicked on the agent. And he uh, he turns out that he's he's not a fan. He doesn't like me. So I got him sacked. Brought in the new agent who's fairly indifferent. Which I'm more than happy to roll with. And so we've now offered Curlwine a new contract. It's a slight increase. But I'm thinking, new contract, increase in performance, that's cool. If he wants to carry on playing, scoring, then I'm more than happy to keep him on. If he keeps, if he keeps on playing, scoring, better contract, that involves, that includes people having to pay more, even better. I think it's only a good thing, but who knows. I'll have a look, a look at his contract now, just see if he's got anything in there that we want to kind of... Avoid. Uh, he's got a wage rise after international clause. Oh, here you go. So if he pays another five international caps, he'll go to two two five. So having this, having this uh, increase or a new wage is actually going to save me money in the end. So cool. I'm all for it. The team that we've got to play, Valencia. We've got Ribes in goal again. Uh, Deco Penaloza at centre back with Trindard out the left, but he looks like he's unfit. So we'll put. Guira out there. We've then got Barragan, Durakovic, Alcadri, and <laughs> Reina uh, across the back four. I got confused because I was counting them that way, and then I tried to do the right one, then it was already there. Uh, and then Luis and Curlewine up top. Is Kuahara ready yet? No. No. I was hoping we might be able to give him part of the game, maybe, if it was going well. But yeah. Well, we'll go in, same 11. I, was, I don't know how this team haven't been run into the grab yet, because this is realistically it's the only 11 we play. But we're back up to six points in the lead in the Bundesliga. And we're hopefully about to advance to the semi final. We have ourselves lining up, as we know, our 4 4 2 that we've just seen. A little loss in the middle, but we'll ignore that, because we cancelled it out by beating Dortmund, so that's cool. Valencia are on absolutely stinky form at the moment. Moose is still there from the start of the game. He's a good player, to be fair. We'll um we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. I run you with the throw, straight into their plan. Cleared out to Goira. Reina, back out to Aranya. You're gonna get a good crossing, lad. 
Yes. Oh, he's made it one. It's 4-1 on aggregate. We've cancelled out their away goal. No, we haven't. <laughs> They're the away team. Don't worry about it. We've got three away goals. We'll take a hell of a... a no, it won't take a hell of a lot of goals. It'll take four for them to uh, top our away goals. I don't know why I'm teaching you basic math. But I have, so there we go. I also just called it math and not maths, which is upsetting. Uh, we are going to... We're going to praise them. Just praise them. They're doing alright so far. They've already got a goal for us. Happy about that one. Their left wingers just going on a just going on a jaunt. He's having a little wonder about. Maldonado. I can only assume that's not the Formula Formula One driver. Terrible. Uh, Luis picked it up. Oh, he was having bags of fun last year scoring against uh, scoring against these teams. So it's all good. I I don't know why it paused that. I don't know what I'm gonna do if. Well, to be fair, if we win the Europa League and we win the Bundesliga, that's kind of all the tournaments we wanted because we've already won the Champions League. We've already won the other leagues. So it's kind of, that's it. But I'm enjoying being with Mönchengladbach, Gladbach. So I think, I think I'll probably stay on anyway, even if we do manage to hold on and win both of these tournaments. We might even do the treble as well because we're still in the bloody Pokal, which will be in next episode. So I don't know. I don't know. We may end up doing the treble. That isn't my plan for this season. My plan for this season was just to do good, get back in the Champions League and rebuild the team. Instead, we've got a team that are already built by the looks of it, strengthen further and uh, challenging for the title. It's just me. That's all it is. That Gallardo fella did all right. I've come back in. I'm like, right, guys, should we actually do good now? Smashed it. Beautiful. Right, Penelosa and Deco having a wonderful time. Aranya. Barragan through to Luis. I'm sure their defender should have been able to get the ball then, but it's fine. We'll praise them up again. All right, Reyna with the cross. Ooh, Durakovic back out to him? No, where's he going? To Al Kadri. Back to Durakovic. Back to Al Kadri. They're still having a wonderful time together, by the looks of it. Um, we're having the better of the game. I'm not going to drop to balance because Valencia aren't really into it, so there's nothing really that we want to try and counteract. Um, big edge from the left back. I think that could be a thing we look at as a solid left back. We've got we've got one that's all right. Trindad's Trindad's picking up as well. To be fair, they're both just good. I want like a really good one. Luis has made it too. Five one on aggregate. Happy days. I can't remember who was on our side of the draw. I feel like it's the Bilbao one, but I'm not sure. Can't remember. So I'm gonna end up saying, was it on all four of them? I feel like now it might have been Watford and Atalanta, so who knows? Who knows? Tottenham and Schalke were definitely on the other side. I think Bilbao were on the other side. I think it is Atalanta or Watford. Uh, I don't know what their first leg was, but Watford are currently 1-0 up. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Right, so Durakovic. Up to Luis. Beautiful. Oh, good save. Uh, we will... You know, we'll just prize them again. They're still doing what we need from them, so there's no point in chasing that any further. Our next game is in about five days against our rivals in Colm, so we'll kind of want to keep some fresh fresh feet for that, fresh legs, and we'll uh, we'll keep Curlewine on, nah, he's not playing, and yeah, he's not performing, and he's, uh, he's tired, so might as well just take him off. We'll make them to keep those two fresh, because I don't want to run anywhere into the ground, realistically, and I might have a look at taking Barragan off a little bit. All right, Luis is just, just going through the middle. That was too easy. That was far too easy. He just ran through the middle. There was three players there. They were all central. And he didn't run wide. He just went, I just got right through the middle. Deco's got an assist from that, and it was a clearance. Sabri didn't even really help him with his run to pull a player away. And then the goalkeeper just kneels and goes... Pfft. He scored. Smashed it, guys. Well done. Let's drop to balance now, so there's just no point in attacking any further. We'll praise him again. 
and I'll make that sub with Barragan because uh, he's tired and he's important. We'll bring Vienna on. Will we? No, we won't. We'll do that. We'll put around Europe to mid. There we go. Happy days. That is a very negative formation from him. I don't know why they've gone to that now. They could very well have been that before. I think they were, actually. Surely you change it to be more aggressive then. Just do something. I don't know. I don't know. Right, so Musa, Munoz, Alvarez, Valverde, Maldonado. That was a bit easy. See, we dropped to balanced and we've forgotten how to defend, which makes all sorts of sense. It's not ideal, is it? We'll skip that. We don't need to see it again. Nine, seven, five minutes on the clock. There's no chance they're coming back from this. We'll just run it through. Beautiful. Look at that. Our first shot was nearly equivalent to like their whole like first 60 minutes of the game. In XG anyway, so. Beautiful. Turns out I completely lied to you, and it was the only one that I hadn't suggested. <laughs> it was um it was the winner of Athletic and Leverkusen. So we've got a German tie for the one semi-final, an English tie for the other. So either way, we're going to have an England versus Germany final. Just depends if one of those managers are going to be English. This is going to ruin my point now, because I've done that. And yes, I'm the only English manager. So it's all good. It's all good. As we said earlier, we'll be back for the next two games in Cologne and Leipzig. So we've got a game against our fierce rivals and the semi-final of the Pokal. Um, they are our only fierce rivals. We do have a few other competitive ones and other rivals, one of which being Leverkusen, actually, so that could be interesting. But if you have enjoyed that, give me a like, subscribe, flick the bell, and thank you for your time.